sun hold me fast this magic spell you cast this is love young horse when you kiss me heaven sighs and though i close my eyes i see love young horse when you press me to your heart i'm in a world apart a world where roses bloom and when you speak angels sing from above every day would seem to turn into love so give your heart and soul to me and life will always be love it was a lunch and affair overflowing with love for a remarkable woman who has lived her life with the motto the world is one family over 200 friends and family of francis m west converged at the briarcliff baptist church fellowship hall on august 18th to celebrate their friendship with her they were people who call atlanta home but with roots in countries as diverse as india nigeria mexico nicaragua guatemala serbia russia china bulgaria haiti brazil turkmenistan uzbekistan sweden finland etc they came dressed in clothes that reflected their heritage and brought food from their native land long tables lined the length and breadth of the hall bursting with flavors from all around the world some came from other parts of the us to be part of the special day the celebration was to honor francis who turned 97 on august 9th for a lifetime of friendship with the international community and service to humanity francis has been an integral part of nri pulse since its inception in 2006 hence the celebration was even more special for our team Frances was born on a farm in Trenton, South Carolina on August 9, 1922. She graduated from Winthrop College and thereafter went to New Orleans Seminary. Called to the mission field, she and her husband, Dr. Ralph West, spent 20 years in Nigeria from 1945 to 65, where among other things, she founded the Ogbo Mosho School for the Blind. She also championed equal rights for women there. After their return to the US in 1965, the West made Atlanta their home. Through her don't mention it Sunday school class, she was able to integrate Briarcliff Baptist Church. She started the annual international dinner to bring people from all over the world together regardless of race or religion. I enjoy life as much as ever. I got all these Muslims, Hindu, Jewish, atheist friends. They are wonderful. My friends have taught me that everybody is the same. She told a local newspaper in 2017 interview. Frances's love of life and adventure was evident when at the age of 94 she traveled to India to fulfill a lifelong dream and made more friends across the world. The day began with a special Sunday service at the church where family and close friends spoke about Frances's influence on their lives. Pastor Matthew Stacy led the service. Paul Lucas who organized the event said she wanted to celebrate Francis's life because she is an inspiration on how to live and love life. She loves everyone. She does not look at races or colors of your skin. She looks at you as a very special person. And in her eyes everyone is equal. If you are rich or poor, powerful or humble, educated or not, Everyone is equal in her eyes. Nancy Hayden reminisced about her long friendship with Frances and starting the clothes closet at the church for homeless and low-income people. I told Frances was working in the clothes closet now with excitement. She said, Frances's daughter Cheryl said one word that described her mother is the word love. I just want to say I think the one word that really defines my mother is the word love. Frances's grandchildren and their spouses, Wendy, West, Scott, Brooke, Renee, and John, also spoke about their grandmother's influence on their lives. And I know you don't think you have a whole lot to say, but you're a great listener, and the words you do choose always bring a lot of comfort to everybody. And I'm honored to be 
be your grandson. Something that I've been taught from grandmother is just to be brave, uh, to try things that you think you can't do, even if you fail, it's okay, but to always have that courage to do what you feel you should be doing. And she showed me what Christ-centered living, what truly what kingdom living is. And that's a lesson that can't be taught in one sentence. But if you see her life, if you see who she is, you see Christ. She's so many positive things to so many people. And she's really touched a lot of lives. But the one lesson that she really carried to me was to never judge anybody by anything but what's in her heart. It's the outside stuff. And my family. And I guess the most important part about that is that humanity is my family. I learned that from you, and it's been driven in me ever since I was a little boy, and I thank you. I love you. I hope I can be just like you when I when I get older. I, I'd like to be just like you now. <laughs> so thank you for all that you've done for me, for our family, for so many people. We love you so much. Ida Chandra, who moved to Atlanta in 2000, recounted the love and support she received from Francis as a new immigrant. To explain that she demonstrates the love of God to anyone. I have spent like you know, a few years here in Atlanta and then uh, still keep in touch with her even after we moved to Dallas. Lucas has known Francis since she was a small child growing up in Nigeria. In 2007, I had the pleasure and honor to go back to Nigeria with Aunt Francis, with Scott, and with Cheryl. And one of the things that struck me was how many of the Nigerians either remembered Aunt Frances or they knew the stories of her. And NRI Percolator Vina Rao said she and Frances have both broadened their horizons and learned about each other's cultures in the 17 years of their friendship. We've had many, many adventures together, from buying my first car at a pawn shop for $650. <laughs> The greatest adventure, perhaps, was hopping on a flight to India in 2016 because Frances wanted to put her feet under my mother's table. And we couldn't do that without, without actually flying all the way to India. And so we did. People there reacted to her as they react to her here. They could sense her, the beauty of her heart, her uh, youthful spirit, and zest for life as they do here even before exchanging words, even before saying a word uh, to her. And that, my friends, is the essence of Frances West. I am so blessed to call her my best friend, mentor, role model, and mother. And I'm even more blessed that Frances calls me her Indian daughter. Life is indeed good, Frances, more so because you have been part of it. Thank you. I love you. In her address, Frances said she had learned we all have the same needs, a place to live, a place to sleep, food, family and friends. I learned that all people have the same needs to have basic human dignity and respect, a decent place to live and sleep, food, family, friends, a place to worship. The celebration was a perfect tribute to an ever-loving friend whose zest for life is infectious. And when you speak, angels sing from above. Everyday words seem to turn into love songs Give your heart and soul to me And life will always be la vie oh.